Hello. Do it gorgeous. It's the aim. <laughs> about to go on a date. Well, I say about to. No idea when it is. So, it's supposed to be half eight, but he texted me earlier saying, Oh, I'm going to uh, go for dinner with my US agent. Um, so he's going to be late. Which I don't mind, because I was actually thinking, it's far too soon, there is too much to do, I need to drink some vodka, I need to watch this, I need to do this, so I'm actually quite glad. Um, but, no text so far, it's just got to half eight, so who knows. Thinking he might go, oh I'm tired or something, and then... But we'll see. I don't really mind if he does, to be honest. Um, I finally got ready, though, so that's going to be a bit annoying. I don't mind, because uh, people are out tonight. I think Ed said he might be out, because it's been sunny today, so it's nice to go out, isn't it? So I'll go and meet Ed, just get drunk, be fine. I'm not really, you know, I'm scared anyway. So if it's cancelled, I won't be scared anymore. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually probably be quite glad, to be honest. Um, yeah, I've got a bit, a couple of little spots, which I'm going to have to sort out. It's really annoying, because I see them when I look at this, and earlier when I was looking at mirrors, and then I do my shaving and stuff, and that mirror is so rubbish over there. You see it? Do you see it? It's just like, for some reason, you can't see anything in it. You look in it, and your face just looks normal, and then you go and look in a different mirror, and you go, Oh, I'm an absolute monster! So it's a bit strange. I need to properly look right into it and sort my life out. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for the text. He's going to text me when he knows what time, so... We'll see. It's a bit weird. We haven't really talked that much either, and it's just a bit weird. I don't know. I don't even know if he remembers who I am or what I look like. He obviously must do, but seriously, it's very strange. Hey, I have to be honest with this stupid film yourself a day, bollocks. <laughs> I have been sitting here for a long time, waiting for this date. Um, yeah. He said, I, we, we arranged half past eight and then I texted him today saying, hey, you know, are you start for tonight? And I uh, didn't get a reply for a while and then he said, oh shit, I'm meeting um, a US agent. He's a singer, you see? So he was meeting a US agent and I was like, okay, that's fine. That's all fine, you know, whatever. Uh, he said I might be a bit late. So I said, yeah, that's fine. Because I, as I said to you earlier, I wanted to do stuff. So it gets to half eight and I think... Let's see what's going on. He replies, saying, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I might still be with this guy till about 10. And I think, 10's all right, you know, I go to sleep so late sometimes, like 3, 4 a.m. sometimes, which is ridiculous. I don't have work tomorrow morning, so whatever. You know, any time is fine for me. Then it gets to, like, half nine, and I've got nothing, and I think, okay. <laughs> More texts and stuff. And he says, I'm still with this guy. This is, like, after 10. And I was like... I'm like, where are you? He says, Covent Garden. I said, okay, text me when you leave, because, you know, Covent Garden's not far. That's good. And then, uh, no text until, like, quarter to 11. I don't send him another one saying, surely we're not meeting later than half 11. <laughs> Gets to 11. I'm getting quite annoyed. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, um, what should I do? Should I just go to bed now? Because I feel like a bit of an idiot sitting here. And then he phones me. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> he's phoning me, right? This is crazy. Um, answer the phone, hello. Um, I probably answered it with a cooler voice than that. I was probably like, I think I was like, hello. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he sounds adorable, stupidly adorable northern accent. Because um, I know he's from Manchester anyway, but just when I heard it, I was like, oh... And he's like really apologetic, and he's like, oh, you know, I need to have some cognacs with, <laughs> send some liqueurs with these people to look not look rude and stuff. Genuinely sounds like, you know, he's, he's not meaning to, and he says he's, he never does this, and he just feels really bad, and whatever. And it's like, it's all fine, and like, afterwards I'm all like, ooh, because <laughs> he sounds really nice. And if he was southern and phoned me with that information, I'd just be like, all right, whatever. <laughs> but because he's all northern and, and cute, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> hello. Oh dear. So, but yeah, he said it'd be 20 minutes in that phone call, and currently, even longer than that. So, 
still sitting here. It's almost, well, what's the time? It's almost 20 to 12. So I thought I'd do this video because obviously after 12, it doesn't really count as a day. Although it does, so I'll probably film again, depending what happens, you know. You'll hear what happens. You're the YouTube people. I tell you everything. It's all fine. So that's all I've got for you now. I'm cheating a little bit and I'm doing a... I'm adding this on to the end of a day where it, this is the next day now. Wow. I just thought I'd quickly add this on because I'm doing something else today for today's video. So, um, yeah, quickly... Um, yeah, he he came. <laughs> I actually met the person, so, um, yeah, met him at half past twelve. Um, so I didn't go anywhere, like, the, we were planning to go to Lock Tavern, didn't bother going there, because it was a bit late, so we just went to the Elephant's Head, which is, as we all know, my favourite pub. And, uh, we went there, had, like, two drinks each, and then we came back to mine, and we just had a nice lay down, and it was a nice time. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you, really. I don't think you need to know anything else about my private business, do you? I shan't tell you anything about him, in fact. Goodbye.